anaye kama satisha this afternoon na wewe mtu anatakuwa kwa kiko vya gari na atakuwa ndio wake roho haya hakuna hela praise the name of the lord kwa mtu yeye mtu roho zake mtu atakuwa kwa kanembe praise the name of the lord not yet that work and they are for the praise the name of the lord nigga na kwa kiko vya gari i can't do both preaching and teaching but i sense i need to do teaching praise the name of the lord because it is a capacity Tell you never for me it is a capacity building. Let's go to Ephesians. This is so powerful. Ephesians chapter number 3, verse number 14. Ephesians 3, verse number 14. Do you have your Bible? Whether electronic or manual. Is it manual or material or physical? Can you show me your Bible? Either electronic or hey. Before he tells us the prayer, 
He is causing us to know who we are praying to. And he is telling us the Father. And the reason why he is telling us he is the Father, because in him are the riches of God. He is telling us the capacity of our Father. That if you pray to me, he is the custodian of riches of God. He is the custodian of the heavenly resources that you need. In him there is no limitation. He is the problem now to supply you. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. I came to let you know that your father, you, your father, he is full of riches and glory. His resource cannot be exhausted. Amen. You cannot exhaust the resource of your father. Praise the name of the Lord. It doesn't matter where you are in life. If only you can do that to your father. There is an inexhaustible resource according to the riches of his glory, which are in Christ Jesus. God has capacity, praise the name of the Lord. So when Paul is going to kneel before the Lord, he is kneeling before him in the revelation that I am approaching a God who is able. I am approaching a God who is benevolent. I am approaching a God who is generous. I am approaching a God who is able. Hallelujah. That is what makes prayer not just quantitative, but also qualitative. If you know he's your father, you don't just bubble once again, but you spend time with him. For you know at the end of the day, he is the custodian of all that you need for life and godliness. Hallelujah! Yes. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. Have you been here here Can you hear what he said? Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. So hear the prayer now. He is praying that the Father of glory, the Father of glory, in whom the whole family of God and heaven is named, that he may grant unto you, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with the mind by his spirit in the inner mind. You to be strengthened in your inner mind by his spirit. Praise the name of God. You see, part of the reason why the lives of so many young people have become lives of darkness, frustrations, defeat, failure, and so on, it is it's because when you are growing up, you are only taught how to educate your mind. You are only taught how to excel your mind. Actually, they told you about success. It is when you navigate in the educational system of this our country and you achieve highest grade in order for you to create an opportunity for higher life and for higher opportunities in the future. Unfortunately, we are created differently by our father. Therefore, we don't have similar Praise the name of the Lord. The reason why many people are so educated yet they are foolish is because they were not prepared on how to educate. That is why we have so many educated fools. Because they were only educated in their mind. But they did not know there is another education called the education of your spirit. The education of your spirit, man, it is key because the source of life is in the spirit. Above all things, guard your heart. For out of it are the issues of life. The issues of life are administered from your inner mind. Life begins from your inner mind. You don't live life from your mind. You live life according to what the Spirit is. Actually, that word, the issues of life, it is from the Greek, the Hebrew word, boundaries. And it means that the far you can go beyond is determined by the posture of your life. The boundaries of your life are determined by the position of your heart. The attitude of your heart, of your heart will determine the length and the height you can go in this life. When they do not allow you to educate your spirit, that is a very big mess with you. A Muslim average young man who be taught Torah, when they do not follow the Quran, when they are still very young, see if you give me a lot of words, Father Abraham, Father Abraham, 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 how many, how many sons, Abraham, Abraham, let's go down, 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 come, 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 to give a his all. Man, like a Christian team, you are a fool for the Quran. Are you hearing what I am saying? Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. He said that. Hey, be Jesus. Hey, be Jesus. Oh, oh, yes. You know, you get that to talk. No, no, no. Praise the name of the Lord. You can hear what I am saying. They are taught. They don't think of the Muslims. That is why, look at me. That is why today.
Even the word come, but you are here to show you the system. We don't do that. We don't do that. We don't do that. Sister, we don't do that. We don't do that. We were taught from the pain and the way. Sister, we don't have a hand in the world of the beginning. Sister, we don't have a hand in the world of the beginning. It is all in the culture in the end of all. It is all in the culture in their system. Because they were trained from the pain in the way.
give your heart. Therefore, a man of the highest capacity is not the one who drives a big car. Is not the one who preaches in a big church. Is not the one who owns the beautiful city in the country. Is not even the one who gives the Lord. It is the one who has allowed Christ to find the expression in his heart. And I say now that, praise the name of the Lord. Amen. The person who has capacity is not the one who with the, with the newest device, the highest hair style in town. See when you are a man to hide it. Praise the name of the Lord. See when you are a shikata hide it for the world, you want to say, ah. That is not the way we measure Christ. It is not the way we measure capacity. We measure capacity by the amount of Christ you can dispense. By the measure of Christ you can dispense. Because if you don't have a prayer, if you want to see what you are going to come and hear them, and if you will be here, you will be able to do that. You will be able to restore and think about the Daniel. You will be able to do it.
Tell us how much you have allowed Christ to give you. I'm helping someone. Praise the name of God. How stable are you? How stable are you? How do you tell that you? What can bring you out of Christ? How is your work with Christ? How rooted are you? It's a name of God. Did you know what that word grounded means to the It means to consolidate. It means to settle. How, who, to which measure are you consolidated in your work? To which measure are you settled? Are you hearing my words? It's a question I am asking. I am asking a question. Praise the name of God. Do not do to have a man or a victim of a man. Atakua me, Kuna mtu hapa, hapa, ukiwa na trip shule, ataitisha kama yake pesa, mingi, na babake, mingi pia. Na atapigia alati bado wa kukushe kwa pesa. Kuna shule kuna trip, kina ene, kazikuwa efibiri, na ataitisha ya kukano hapa na hapa. It shows the inconsistencies, the gaps in your spiritual work. Wee, mia tarike, siku kucha kumotivate mtu hapa. Praise the name of the Lord. You must be rooted and ground. The presence of a Christ in a man, hallelujah, is known by how settled and grounded they are. It is the way you look at the consistency of the work we call. You can tell this person is not a joker. Praise the name of the Lord. This person has made business in the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. The measure of Christ in you is not measured by how you see with the Bible. But how is your personal work with God? How are you with the Lord? It is an insult for you to come to pray here if you don't pray in your Bible. Yeah, sure. Hallelujah! Amen. It is a insult for you to come to preach here if you don't read your Bible in your bedroom. How are you going to be able to help? When I end up Kabana. Hey, you Kabana. Okay. So, praise the name of the Lord. It is a new song. How many times have you been? My God, only 15 minutes. And I have just started. Praise the name of the Lord. Are you hearing what I am saying? So, let your inner man be strengthened that Christ may dwell in your heart. That you, that you may be grounded and rooted. Praise the name of the Lord. The days of Kuakuka na Kuinama Zimeisha. Kuakuka na Kusimama. You never know the Bible. How can you do up the sweetness of the gospel? You have to make a decision. Tell your neighbor for me, you have to make a decision. You have to make a decision. Praise the name of God. It is a choice you have to make for yourself that I am going to be rooted and crowded. Praise the name of the Lord. Have a juicy, have a ruido, have a ruido, have a kasaran kwe. Manyumba makubwa zimepandisho huko. Sinyanguka paragasha paragasha. Haijarishi ilikuwa inda panda mpaka wapi. Kama huku chini kulikuwa na shida. Haijarishi ilipaenda mpaka wapi tu. Tunapaju. Tunapaju. Harale. Haijarishi ilipaju mpaka wapi. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, let's go this generation new in what you are to because you are not a social media, you are not a sister of America. Address. After you are not a address, you are not a problem. I tell you, if your foundation and your rooting and your grounding has an issue, it doesn't matter how far you go up there, one day you find it down. Are you hearing what I am saying? Yes. Are you hearing what I am saying? That is what Jesus told us a parable. He said there were two builders. While James and Mary were in the aquasite. Near the leaf. 
15 minutes nitumie haraka wachezaji wawili waliingia kwa side praise the name of the lord mmoja alipoingia kwa side hakuangalia venye anataka kwenda na huko juu aliangalia the state of the soil akajiuliza hii mchana nianza kujenga eh utahara hapa naje nyumba yangu ita praise the name of the lord amen mwingine akasema mimi nataka watu wa mungu wajenge hivyo mimi naenda wa upward ever upward When they started building the Bible says the one started digging downwards the other one started climbing upwards the one was looking for a foundation the other one was looking for smart amen two builders are in the side one is going down the other one is going up if you come to judge those two builders by the state of their building at the moment you will say the one who is going down is a foolish man he is not visible He is a foolish man. You don't know how we are enjoying life out there. What are you going to do down there? Why are you dignifying yourself? What are you looking down for? We go out what? Are you looking at me? And that is the deception that many people will be seeing. Where soma tu? Wewe ndio wewe na kaja yako. Wewe chukua tu wasitana urane na hao mambo hayo. If you don't make a deliberate decision to go and look for foundation. Hallelujah. One day you will be judged. The Bible says, the rain came, the floods came, and the wind came. All those houses were tested the same. Nyumba yenye alijenga muzingi na ule hakujenga muzingi, they were tested the same. The testing will always come the same. But what will disqualify some is how they do. What will make the difference is how you do. Hallelujah. What are you going to do? Now, raise the level of If you decide to go down there, one day the rain will come. One day the floods will come. One day the wind will come, but they will never take you down. Because you build your house on a foundation. Actually, can I give you a similar equation? Similar equation? Yes. Hebuni wape scripture moja na muziki wa Isaiah. Hebuni tu asifumue Isaiah 37:1. Ni wape scripture ya Remnant. Si nini hiyo Remnant? Usomee hiyo hapa. Isaiah 31:37 verse number 31 What does the Bible say Before we continue Last part of the Isaiah 37 verse number 31 The Bible says Isaiah verse uh chapter 37 verse 31 It says that and the remnant and the remnant who are the remnant we are here Where is it nini tunaongea and Remnants. Six, seven, six, remnants. Six, seven. Remnants. Remnants. Six, seven. And the remnants. Yeah. Yeah. And the remnants that is escaped of the house of Judah shall take root down and bear fruit. Hallelujah. Amen. You must become a remnant who first of all take root where? Before we are in root where? Amen. Before we are in root where? Amen. Size your new motto. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. 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 Praise the name of the Lord. 
we are continuing with our scripture in the book of Ephesians. Now we are in verse number 18. That you may be able to comprehend. Praise the name of the Lord. With all the saints. With what is the breath? And what is the length? And what is the depth? And what is the height? I want us to settle down. I'm going to teach you those four things now. So the reason why all of these things is happening from his, where he said, I bow my knee to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, praying to God, whom the whole family in heaven and earth is there, that he may grant unto you strength and might in your spirit, man, through the Holy Spirit. The reason why he is praying that prayer, that you may be rooted and grounded in love. This is the reason. So that, so that you may be able to comprehend four things. Tell your neighbor for me four things. It is a four-dimensional growth. Praise the name of the Lord. Look at me. It is a four-dimensional growth. The growth God wants to administer in your life when he gives you capacity, it is four-dimensional. He is saying, first of all, I want you to have bread. Tell your neighbor for me bread. Praise the name of the Lord. Are we together so far? First of all, I want you to have what? Bread. Sit Two kohako sayo. Bread is capacity to hold. Praise the name of the Lord. Bread and you are here. We are so good. At the time of the world, we are not here. We are 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 Hallelujah. It is the outstretching of your heart. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah chapter number 54, Isaiah 54 verse 1, that you lengthen your steps, that you stretch your curtain. Praise the name of the Lord. For more are the children of the desolate woman, more than the children of the married woman. Praise the name of the Lord. He is saying when you are ready for expansion, it is for you to strengthen, to lengthen your state, to stretch your curtain. Praise the name of the Lord. It means you are ready to handle more. Praise the name of the Lord. It means you are ready to study more. It means you are ready to do whatever it takes that you are ability to attain more can be there. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't just sit down and watch social media. Usikai tu chini wangalia nini? Social media, praise the name of the Lord. And show that number one, there is a dimensional growth in your life called breath. It is capacity to hold you more. Praise the name of the Lord. Then he says, then he says number two, that you may have length. Length. In your life we must learn. Learn it is as far as you can have the total dominance. Praise the name of the Lord. It is as far as you can be able to take territories. Praise the name of the Lord. He told Abraham to go around the land as far as his feet could walk. God had given him. It is how much you can walk, how much you can be able to be influenced in your life. It is the walk. Praise the name of the Lord. Tell your neighbor for me then. Who's the guy who's the Yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. Allow yourself in your career life, allow yourself in your spiritual life to have a walk. Praise the name of the Lord. That you may have the land. Praise the name of the Lord. Let the Lord begin to know God because of you. It is the second dimension of capacity. It's when we look at your life, how far have you stretched? How far have you gone? Praise the name of the Lord. I am finishing my plan. Praise the name of the Lord. Then he is saying that you may have death. Death. Tell your neighbor for me, death. Yes. It is how deep you have gone to know the peace of God. How far you have gone down here in the depth of the knowledge of God. Hallelujah. Amen. You need death. Tell your neighbor for me, you need death. Psalms of the the Bible says, Deep calleth unto deep. Praise the name of the Lord. Deep calleth unto deep. Your spirit must know how to call in the deep things of God. Don't be a shadow believer. I think to Kikutana Hapa to the Imbabi are the same songs. To Kikutana Hapa to Neskizanga the same psalms. Let there be growth and development in your spiritual walk as you gain stature, as you walk in that depth. Hallelujah. God is so deep. Actually, you can swim in God and get lost. When you are in God, swim in God in the things of God and you get lost. Hallelujah. It is a vast river. The Bible says, out of the abyss shall flow the rivers of living water. Praise the name of the Lord. 
You can swim in the things of God until you are drowned by God. Where we are here, you can be drowned in the spiritual things of God until you are hard and all the more to attain Him. Because it is in the capacity of God. Give you the level of heart. Let me say height, that you may know height. Raise the level of the Lord. Height is rank. Tell your neighbor from your rank. When you have rank, you have rank. Praise the name of the Lord. Look at me. You have what? Can you say rank? When you are just one of the rank and I just have Praise the name of the Lord. You can go in rank in your spiritual world. Don't be deceived that all men are equal. All men are not equal. Praise the name of the Lord. You are sacrifice, consecration, and dedication to the things of God can give you another hand before others. The Bible says in the book of Psalms 45 that you have loved righteousness, you have hated wickedness. Therefore, the Lord your God has exalted you above your companions by anointing you with the oil of joy. It is a choice to love righteousness. It is a choice to hate wickedness. But it is God who lived in them and causes a distinction. Praise the Lord of the Lord. You see, the Lord of the Lord and I took you about your companions. You can see the Lord your companions by the level of consecration you make in your life. You can have around the things of God. You can pray and pray and God answer you. God can reveal to you the things of deep in your family. And when you pray, it increases his soul. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Then you never will be your new ground. Will be your best agenda, Papa. It is consecration. Praise the name of the Lord. Dedication and sacrifice. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says, "Why the Lord will you appear among you? What are they to promote your kingdom? Kitabu chamala. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, as a result of what I am doing, now you will be most happy people. I can say, 'Wah, how many wah do?' Praise the name of the Lord. He has set them apart for His glory. God can do that with individuals and people. God can see you are her walk. It is called the life, the course of your life. When you choose the course of your life to be correct with God, He will give you a Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. That is how people went to the same university one can come out of the other one. How can you come out when you read the error of the heaven? That is why some begin here and this one had an advantage because their father was rich. The other one did not have an advantage because their father was poor. But when they begin to walk, this one is enjoying life and a poor man with a big spoon. We need them and consecrate. Look at them from the years. You see the difference. One would be one way in drugs and alcoholism, womanizer, masturbator, pornographer, Nimigile, Illuminati. We need that one inside them because of the level consecration, you realize this man is not where he started. This man has been moving. Praise the name of the Lord. It is a four hour growth. Tell your neighbor for me, four hour growth. That you are growing like this, you are growing like this. You are growing like this, you are growing like this. Let me say that again. We pray. I am growing like this, I am having rank. I am growing like this, I am attaining death. I am growing like this, my capacity to receive more is increasing. I am growing like this. So if you knew me five, four years after I was working, now I can hear you. Yet the car is not the answer. It is not a mirror. It is just a means to transport you to do the purpose of God. Because we don't worship cars. It is good to drive, but we don't worship cars. We don't come here to preach cars. If you find somebody preaching car here, he has a problem. But when you check your life, you realize what you feel in your car. Yet you don't worship car. Car is just a means to facilitate your movement from here to there. Anything. And God will not do the same. Hallelujah. God is not unjust. You will not serve God and be made the same. How about you look at another way? Let's take my time where you want to. Can you let you know? Make a commitment to live a consecrated life. Feel capacity. There is nothing God cannot give you. I say, oh, there is nothing God cannot give you in this way. I can spell this and you are acting. Praise the name of the Lord. God is not a respecter of persons. Yes, God is not a religious. Actually, in the order of wealth in the, in the realm of God, the greatest resource in heaven is grace, spiritual things. In the calendar, in the, in the mindset of God, riches is from that dimension. 
Riches of grace, riches of glory, riches of might of God. It is the highest capacity. Number two is men. In terms of God looking, men are second. Second, number two. The way of God is men. Then number three, material things. Material things go to Jesus. But God values the spiritual things. That is why the Bible says that when you're faithful in the mammon, he will give you two riches. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. There is greater riches than money. There is greater riches than having good life. The riches is how much of Christ you have attained. Can I close the meeting? Can you lift up your hands as you are seated down? Lift up your hands, both of us. Can you tell the Lord to help you build capacity? Can you tell the Lord to help you? The fourth dimensional, four dimensional growth you must experience in your life. You must grow up. You must grow downward. You must take root downward. Can you pray something over there? The is Can you pray for me the streets now? We want to pray for you. Thank you, we must sound down. Say how to go to the world. Say how to go to the world. Can you go to God? 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 Can you